Earlier, Premier Clark spoke at the Natural Resources Forum. Her speech included points on forestry and mining, the mainstays of the resource sector in B.C., but a large part of the focus was on the newest kid to the block, liquefied natural gas. And I know we are... It's the first full day of the Natural Resources Forum, and Premier Christy Clark spoke to a full house about the significance of the resource industry in B.C., forestry, mining, and now LNG. While the commitments for LNG are long-term, the Premier says time is of the essence to make it happen. We've got a, a forest industry is doing really well, and we want to continue to support that. Mining is doing well. We need to support that. This is a further diversification of our economy, and we will do better with more, um, with more markets and with more businesses than we will without. The BC LNG Alliance, made up of those companies with an interest, recently warned the province of a lack of a regulatory regime around the industry. Since then, the province has introduced the LNG Income Tax Act and the Environmental Incentive Program. Certainly having uh, a clear understanding of what the tax rates are is extremely helpful. Uh, there's still work to be done in terms of getting more certainty and more clarity around the fiscal structure uh, so that we understand exactly what's included in the tax, what's not included, what can be deductible from the tax rates. So BC is the only jurisdiction in which the industry pays an LNG tax, a carbon tax, and has to buy carbon offsets. The BC LNG Alliance admits it is a challenge, but there are other factors at play. There's an awful lot of very, very positive reasons why British Columbia will be a part of the overall supply mix globally. Uh, when you look at the highly talented uh, workforce that's, that's available here in British Columbia, the tremendous educational system, healthcare system, the enormous amount of natural gas resources that are available to be able to take to market. To date, there have been 18 operations express an interest in setting up shop in B.C., but there have been no firm commitments. All the same, the B.C. government hails 2015 as the province's year to shine for LNG. Like these are, you know, 50-year investments that are really thinking about how they can move their investment forward faster. Perhaps recognizing that LNG is a good bet, perhaps recognizing that B.C. is a good bet. Premier Clark says the fact there is still interest despite the plummeting global oil prices speaks volumes. It only means the province's original plans for LNG will have to be adapted. Cheryl Jan, CKPG News.